Hi, welcome back to Inner Element. I'm Mike Gideon, Customer Technical Services Manager at Materion, and today I'll be discussing the correlation, or lack thereof, between hardness and tensile properties. So hardness is defined as a resistance to indentation of a material to a given indenter under a particular load. Now there are many different test scales that are used to measure hardness, but they all involve pressing an indenter into the test metal under a given force for a given amount of time, then measuring the size of the hole left behind. With a small hole, you have a high hardness. With a large hole, you have a low hardness. So hardness is very quick and easy to run, and you can do it on finished parts, often without destroying them, particularly for taking the hardest measurements in a non-critical area. So this makes hardness testing a really good screening tool to use to verify proper heat treatment of finished parts, especially if these parts are too small to cut out tensile test samples. Now the question asked, of course, is, does hardness testing correlate well to material properties? And can you use it to screen other properties or to monitor processes? And the answer is, of course, it depends. The good news is that harness generally correlates very well to ultimate tensile strength. So if you're really concerned about the tensile strength, then harness is a good screening test. The bad news is it only very loosely correlates to yield strength and ductility with a lot of scatter. And furthermore, when you're conducting harness testing, you must do it very carefully because there are many potential pitfalls to avoid. And even when done properly, Harness testing shows wide variation results. So the upshot is, if the harness is within the specification, then the other properties of concern are also likely to be within specification. But again, there are no guarantees. And also, if you're using harness testing to monitor uh, processes, and the harness stays consistent from batch to batch during the process monitoring, then it's also likely the processes stay consistent as well. So anyway, thanks for listening, and please feel free to reach out to me or any of my team members with any questions, and we'll see you next time.